So what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Notes215. Welcome to my fourth episode of my podcast. And today I have a very, very, very special guest, man. This guy is, uh, he's definitely, man, the reason why a lot of people is doing, you know, these uh, YouTube videos like unboxing and, you know, just sneaker reviews in general, man. And, you know, you know what I'm saying he he saw the future. But, you know, in case if you don't know who I'm talking about, this guy goes by the name of Sneak Geeks, all right? AKA his real name is Carlos Sanchez, right? Yeah. yeah oh, okay. So sneak geeks and uh, yo, let me tell you something, man. Like history, man. Like if 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 you would have told me like when I first saw your 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 channel, man, like that I would like be recording a podcast interview with you, man. I that would have like been like so far fetched, man. And it just seems like you 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 was like one of like the trendsetters of a lot of stuff that's going on now in the culture. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely uh. I definitely appreciate you being a part of this podcast, man. I really do, man. So, uh, so let's get into like before the YouTube. Like, let's go to like the very like beginning of 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 just the culture and like how you got into like the sneaker game. Um, you know, what made you get into the culture, and when did you actually realize that there was a culture like behind all this stuff that's going on now? Yeah. Uh. So. So. What's up, man? What's up, notes? <laughs> yeah, man. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for that introduction. That's, yeah, that's yeah. cool, man. <laughs> um. But um. Wow. The beginning. Um. I guess you know back. I guess back in the day, man. When every when a lot of people were into uh, when I was growing up, right? Mm -hmm. Some people were getting into their sneakers, uh, getting into their kicks. I wasn't really into that. I wasn't really into that scene. It was like it was like a whole other world. It was really. I was like into another another scene. And I guess it kind of goes back like I was kind of talking. Whenever there's like a lot of people doing something, mm -hmm. I, I, I go in the other direction. I don't like to like uh, gravitate towards that. So that wasn't really my thing. It wasn't until decades later, man, I got older and um, I found myself uh, uh, moving out of the city, moving out of Brooklyn from the projects, some of the houses up to uh, Maplewood, right, in the, in, in the suburbs. Mm -hmm. Whole different world and totally, you know, out of my element. And away from, uh, uh, you know, away from like my community. And uh, that's when I, I guess I started like searching ways to like I could connect, not not even knowing it mm -hmm. subconsciously was like, damn, I need to, you know, feel like uh, uh, like I'm still at home or something anyway. And and, and so the thing was, uh, I was like, damn, but, um, I don't I don't even remember how I think I was uh, I was also do, doing personal training mm -hmm. and I was always in fitness gear. And but I was always wearing these uh, uh, um, shitty sneakers, right? Or, or, or basically, you know, uh, 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 these. And I was like, damn, man, I need to step it up. Mm -hmm. So I started searching for some sneakers, and uh, and that's when the whole I was like, damn, I kind of forgot about this whole world that I kind of like bypassed when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. um, and then you know, started look, you know, got some, somehow come across the forums, um, and. Um, uh, and, and, and ended up going, I think I, I think I ended up going to flight club, found out about flight club, didn't even know that existed. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, and went and got a couple of pairs. I think it was, I, I'm a, I think I got the, uh, the space jam 11s and the cool gray 11s. I think that was the first thing I ever bought at flight club. Um, and, uh, so got into the sneakers and then, uh, you know, it started like that. It was just, it was a slippery slope, you know, mm. it started real slow first. Mm -hmm. And then it just became an obsession. I was like every day, practically all day on the, on the, on the internet, uh, checking out, um, sneakers, right. Reviews, what to get next, what's coming out next. Mm -hmm. And just went into this, like, like, you know, this whole world. And, um, so yeah, so I, so I did that. Started looking, so this is the thing. So I started like, okay, I want to know a little bit more about this sneaker before I go get it or I go, you know, line up or or, or maybe order it from somewhere. Okay. I want to, yeah, I want to know a little bit. I want to, you know, get more of a a, a three sixty view mm -hmm. of the of of it instead of just like a photograph. Right, right, right. So um, and so I go to YouTube, right? Go to YouTube, and there wasn't really there was like, I think there was like four videos on somebody reviewing sneakers. Okay. Um, and I, I forget the one one guy's name. Premium Pete was one of them. Okay. Right. He was on there. He did a video. He because he, he, he did a video. Like I think he was in a store. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. and, and but that was it. It was like five, maybe five videos or something like that, uh, of sneaker reviews. And I'm like, damn, there's got to be more, but there wasn't. And that's how I was like, well, damn, let me start making videos. And that's how I picked up the camera, threw it up, and then started saying, look what I got, you know, and 
And at the, you know, also, you know, I wasn't a, I wasn't an expert. And, and one of the first thing, I still am not an expert. Uh, uh, one of the things that I said, you know, early on is I, I'm just starting to get into this, and I'm just, I'm just uh, uh, um, documenting my experience as I go through this, uh, this whole thing. And uh, so that's kind of how it started. Wow. Stuff. So I mean, so, so even like, so you buy these shoes, and it's funny that you even mentioned like Flight Club, like with Flight Club as expensive as it is now when you bought those space jams like what was like the prices on those space jams yo they were um and I, what year was this if you could if, <laughs> if you don't mind me asking you know because yeah it, yeah it, this had to be um what we in 15 now um like 09 maybe okay yeah like 09 okay. probably so not that long ago right. but they were like i think they were like 389 okay um yeah they okay. were like three eighty nine. I remember they were like, yeah, not, not, not. That was like my limit. I ain't going over four hundred. Four hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. you're talking about New York taxes too, too. So it's already three eighty nine plus. And it know? was the it was the old flight club too. They don't even exist no more. That one, you know, the okay. one I'm talking about. Okay, so, 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 you get this shoe, and it's like, all right. So you know, you start to get into the YouTube world, but it's funny, man. A lot of times when you make like these YouTube channels, like you don't you don't think of the following, right? It seems like a lot of times, like when you get into this, uh, uh, this culture, because it's almost like a, a culture within itself as well. You know, like there is a community of YouTubers and et cetera. But a lot of people, it seems like if you're getting into it to receive a lot of followers, nine out of 10, it doesn't work out, you know. Mm-hmm. But like, did you actually ever think that, all right, I'm going to go and buy this camera and I'm going to do this video edit and then. I'm going to blow up. Like, did that ever, like, cross your mind hell, at all? Like that? Hell no, man. Hell no. Um, yeah, that was the last thing I thought would happen. Um, I mean, I was always into technology. I was always a little bit, you know, social media mm-hmm. and trying to be a little ahead of, of things mm-hmm. uh, with that. And I did see people blowing up on YouTube. Mm-hmm. But the sneakers was the last thing I thought. I, di- I didn't think I was going to blow up. Um, and definitely I didn't think it was going to happen with sneakers. Um, no, I was just trying to, I was just like fooling around. Mm -hmm. I was just like, let me do this, you know, just being silly, you know, let me get up here and throw this thing up and then, uh, and you know, make these videos and, and then the culture, the whole thing, I, 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 it just, I was blown away, man. When I started finding, you know, uh, uh, the forums and, uh, that, that, you know, a tighter knit community then, because what my experience growing up, it was just like, I got these, you don't. And it was more of a doggy dog situation. Right, 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 it wasn't like it still is. It still is. It still it's is. Still I know. Still. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't like. But like, let's hang out right. and talk about it, or mm-hmm. let's hang out. And you know, it wasn't like that. I mean, I know it's it's crazy. It's cra- crazy now. But th- yeah, there was none of that. Um, it was just you know, I got mine, and then that's it. And then so um, but yeah, then seeing the community, the community, and then then the get-togethers and. Just doing the lineups and you know going to lineups was cra- that you know that was crazy. It was fun, man. It would just go out there, you know, and just hang out and mm-hmm. do the you know the campouts and um, just and and, and the, the um, you know like the conventions mm-hmm. and the shows that people that all over the country. Mm-hmm. Uh, crazy, man. It was crazy. So it was just like an eye opener of like Hell, wow, like yeah. like there's a lot of shit. This is like Comic Con for yeah, like sneakers. Yeah, no, totally, man. Yeah, it was crazy and. Uh, so yeah, it was like a whole nother whole nother thing. So 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 you start doing these YouTube channels, and it's like now you start seeing like the numbers go up like fifty thou, sixty five thou, hundred thou. Like at that point, like what's going through your mind? Like wow, like holy <laughs> shit! Like look at all. And then the comments too. Like people are. Com- it's, it's not just like the views. People are commenting about this stuff, and it's the talk of the town now. You know, sneak geeks like yo. Look at this video with sneakies and look at this unboxing. Like, was there any unboxing like videos before you actually started to get into like unboxing videos or like like how did that even like come about? Like you just said, all right, well, I'm I'm going to like I'm going to like present this like if I'm opening up like for myself and I don't know like what it is too much about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think there probably well, I'm sure there was uh, people doing unboxings of other things mm-hmm. and. uh you know, so part of it is, yeah, I see, seen the people just were so like on fire about what I was doing that I was like, uh, you know, I want to give them more of the experience. You know, mm-hmm. like when I would get the box, I'd be like, I'd walk up to my house, there'd be a box there. 
that's you know mm-hmm. I, I mean it started before then it started mm-hmm. when I when you know where, when you're trying to get like Nike's gonna release something you're like you know hitting mm-hmm. refresh trying mm-hmm. to get <laughs> trying mm-hmm. to get in there um and then you know and then you know it starts from there and uh the, the excitement and then you know the boxes the boxes at your house and then you open the box or you go shop and you get the box and opening up the whole experience yeah I wanted to give that you know share that with people you know mm-hmm. that whole ex- mm-hmm. that whole experience mm-hmm. yeah so you start getting I mean damn so it's like all right so your channel starts blowing up and it's like now all of a sudden you know you're basically the man you know like right now like there's this uh there's this kid um uh, I forget his name, but he's like he's like the YouTube sensation right now, mm. and it's like, but it's like almost like in a funny way, like you know, like he dresses up kind of like a nerd or something. I think his name is like Eric Hall or something Hall, and like you know, it's like now it's like he's in sensation, and it's like I look at him and it's like, damn, that kind of like you know, it takes me back to like when kind of like Sneak Geeks was doing it, except that he was doing it in like you know, like a real way. You know, you had a lot of funny moments. You know, when, when, <laughs> One of my, uh, my, uh, one of the videos that was brought to my attention, which I totally like forgot was, uh, you know, when you got, uh, uh, electric green, uh, phone posits and you were like, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. And you, <laughs> and I'm not a, I'm sorry if you're a religious person, but Jesus Christ, you know, like you, like you was, you was having fun with it. You know, it wasn't yeah. so much of, you know, like so much like you had to like be like so like perfect with it you know like you could tell you was having fun like with these videos yeah so you know like those become like one of like the most memorable things now how did how did the relationship with like uh like you and air randy start because a lot of like the videos have started to get into like it was first you doing the shoes now it's like everybody wanted to know where you was getting these shoes from, right? <laughs> yeah. Because that was because it was it started to seem like unbelievable, right? Like where are you getting these shoes from, and where are you getting these shoes from? And it seems like there was a point where you know so much acting and so much acting and so much acting. It was like, all right, fine, you know, I'm going to spill the beans a little bit. So you know, one of the names that always will stick out was the Air Randy. Uh-huh. You know. How did that relationship start with Air Randy, and like, how did you start to get into like getting shoes from there? Yeah, so um, let me see. So things started to blow up, mm-hmm. right, with the sneakers, and like anybody, well, I don't know anybody, but like me, mm-hmm. people would be, uh, you know, you start seeing you start seeing dollar signs. You're like, damn man, I get, I need to monetize this thing, mm-hmm. right? I need to like get some payback because I'm spending a lot of money on all these shoes, mm-hmm. and um. I, I can't, and so people, brands, quote unquote, mm-hmm. brands uh, would reach out to me and be like, "Yo, we want you know want you to review uh, some of our you know sneakers, and uh, we'll send you stuff and uh, and that sort of thing." Um, and so, um, so Air, Air Randy, um, I can't remember exactly how it happened, but I think I might have bought some shoes off his site. I think okay. initially, and uh, and this was. Um, you know, Air Randy has gone through different. Uh, I don't even know what's going on with that right now, but it's di- different uh, reiterations. You know, there okay. was one that when he first first came out, I don't even think he had a website, if I remember correctly. Uh, or, you know, and um, so anyway, point is, uh, he would send me sneakers. I would review them, and and then I would some on occasion I'd have to send things back mm-hmm. or. Uh, he just let me keep him, right? As long as I mentioned his name and you know gave him some uh, uh, some exposure. Okay. And uh, yeah, you know, and a lot of people with that whole thing, man. A lot of people were like, "Yo, what? You know what? Uh, you know, it's funny. Some people, yeah, some a lot of Inspector Gadgets and Sherlock Holmes <laughs> got, came up on the scene. They were like, "Yeah, I'm gonna find out what the you know what's going on with this." <laughs> and uh, and um, you know, people were like. You know, and, and at that point, too, there was so many views. So it was like, it was like a machine, bro. Mm-hmm. I wasn't even controlling it. It was controlling me. Mm-hmm. You know, I'd go to events and people would be like, give me your autograph. Let me take your picture. You know, it was like this craziness. Mm-hmm. And it kind of got to my head. Mm-hmm. You know, it also got to my head in negative ways where I would have anxiety. Mm-hmm. I would like, I remember going to, uh, I think it was Maryland or D.C. Okay. And it was crazy. You know, it was crazy. A lot of places. I mean, you know, just a lot of places were a little crazy. Yeah. It got a little, uh, a little hectic. Mm-hmm. Um um and so so yeah so you know then so some people started hit, hit you know hit me up or saying yo man i think your randy shit is fake mm-hmm. you know um 
And and I was like, nah, I can't be, can't be. You know, again, going back to I'm I'm not an expert, right? Uh when I started uh doing this, I started learning as it goes. Mm -hmm. And people were like, Yeah, he's a fake, you know, do is do uh this stuff is fake. And I was like, No way, man, no way, it can't be. And uh and then it was like little, we started getting into uh, what classifies a fake, right? So, okay. so b basically, uh, it was, if, it's not, if it doesn't come out from a store mm -hmm. that's an authorized dealer, mm -hmm. it's a fake. And right. it's in the box. And I was like, nah, that's not, you know, I started, I, I, you know, I was, I was arguing otherwise because I didn't want to believe it, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, that's it was the, in denial. Yeah. That's one of the biggest, <laughs> that's one of the biggest taboos, biggest in the sneaker game, mm -hmm. except apart from just straight up ripping people off, it's, mm -hmm. it's fakes, mm -hmm. right? So I was like, nah, 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 nah. And and then, you know, then, and, you know, I think I asked him about it, and he gave me some story about, you know, some story, and then more, it was just so confusing. He was like, no, it's not fake, it's coming from the factory, but we're getting it out early from the factory, mm -hmm. you know. There's all these scenarios. Um, uh, uh, th There's a scenario where the factory... I don't even know where it's up to date now, but mm -hmm. I mean, what's the latest scenario? Mm -hmm. But um, uh, there's authorized factories that do make the sneakers, and then they make a lot of uh, uh, B B grades mm -hmm. and uh, lesser grades, and they don't they're supposed to throw those away, but they don't destroy them and they keep them, mm -hmm. and they sneak them out of the factory and then they sell them. That's one thing, or they get the molds, right? They get the molds and then they go to another factory and they just start mm -hmm. recreating them, but the materials or something's not quite right. Mm -hmm. Or they're doing it where they don't have the quality control and the uh, inspection. So anyway, um, yeah, so he, he told me all these different stories. I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, uh, I, you know, I'm kind of believing you. I don't know, you know, I know what, you know, what, right, which way right, to go right. with that. And then it just kept coming down, you know, boom, these things are fake. These things are fake. Everything you got is fake. Everything you're doing is fake. And it was like, you know, a lot of people like, uh, 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 hating on that or not, you know, bringing that up. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, and then I can't remember. There was a point where I just he had sent me some stuff, and I'm like, look, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not, I'm not dealing with you. I can't remember. I think I still got them too. I think I still got sneakers that he sent that I don't, I never even uh, uh opened up or because I got like, you know, lots of uh, sneakers in the, tons, room, tons, in the sneaker tons. room. But um, yeah, that was that was kind of it, man. So you know, there was a point. Before I think Air Randy, or right? I mean, there wasn't just Air Randy. It was Marquis So Air Randy. There was a couple of mm -hmm. uh, uh, different ones. Uh, actually, actually, Mark, uh, my re relationship with Air Randy was actually very minimal. I had gotten more things from Marquis So than Air Randy, okay. but Marquis So never. I never promoted him because he never wanted to be promoted. Okay, he was like, "Yeah, you don't have to, you know." You ain't gonna say my name. Yeah, you don't gonna say my name or anything like that. Air Randy was straight up, you know, you got to say my name. Okay. If you want me to send you these things. So, okay. so anyway, yeah. So it kind of like, it bit him because he was the one who wanted the exposure. Right, right. So, so, but now, here's my thing like with that. And I'm going to be honest because I was, I was not having a discussion. I was having the discussion in my mind. Mm -hmm. I talk a lot in my mind. Right. And um, I'm like, wow, it's, it's, it's crazy how you got basically slaughtered, you know, for that. But if you look at the YouTube world now... I would say 90%, at least 84, 85% of the sneaker reviews that you see, a lot of those Jordans, in my opinion, are fakes. There's mm -hmm. no way that you could be doing, dude, there's no way that these Jordan 11s come out for Christmas and you're doing a review in February. Right. You understand what I'm saying? No, totally. So, so, so it's like they, they, they slaughtered you, right? But now, a couple years later, it seems like, that's acceptable now. Oh, really? You know? I didn't know that. <laughs> well, 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 it, well, it seems that way. Yeah, yeah. It seems that way because you look at these reviews and, I mean, I'm, I'm not the type of person, like, I don't, I, don't, I don't look up, you know, specific YouTube channels. But if I do see something that doesn't come out four or five months later, you look at these reviews and they're like 100,000 views. Mm. And a lot of the comments is like, yo, I can't wait to get them. Yo, man, uh, I need those nobody's questioning are these even legit mm. so it seems you know i might be I, and this is just my opinion but it seems like in the youtube world is acceptable well, that's interesting. you know um from when what when, when you was doing it like it's like you said like the inspector gadget started to come out and everybody was like, mm -hmm, wait let me see <laughs> something are these 
legit, you know, and then that started to become a problem, yeah. you know, but now, it, you know, it seems like you're starting to become one of like those, you know, things that is like almost like acceptable type of thing, you know? Right. So, so, you know, are you paying attention to the YouTube world now? Is it like, is it, is it like past you? Cause I read something that was like real interesting and somebody had asked you, why did you stop? You mm -hmm. know? And you said something, uh, along the words of, um, after the galaxy phones, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, that was basically it, you know, like people hurting themselves, people, you know, people getting killed, you know? So initially, cause I'm pretty sure it was like a mixture of a lot of stuff. You right, know, exactly. You know, because a lot of times, you know, like we might be thinking of certain things, but it might take something to actually happen to initiate. Like, all right, I, I'm really done with this shit now. Yeah. You yeah. know, so like, you know, like around what time was it that it was getting to your head? Like, yo, you know what? I really don't want to start, you know, like I really don't want to continue doing this because too much backlash with the fakes, you know. And it's like you say, you know, you know, like you buy these shoes. And yes, you know, that's the only way that it could be legit, in my opinion, is if you actually buy them from a store, you know, a store, they give you a receipt and everything. Right. You know, a lot totally. of the, a lot of these Jordans now, there there's fake Jordans that are so perfect mm -hmm. that it's like, yo, what am I looking at? Yeah. I don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah. You know, so, you know, now it's like a whole different ballpark, you know, like when it comes to, uh, to these fakes. But, you know, at what point did you say? I just want to stay away from this because it's just too, you know, it's just too much. Like it's just getting too much where it's just getting to my head, you know, is affecting me, you know, is affecting my family or it might be affecting my, you know, like just like me, help, uh, 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 my health. It might be affecting like certain things. Like at what, you know, at what point did you have to stop and say, you know, I can't do this anymore? Yeah, no, that's a good point, man. You reminded me about that, that, that phone, that galaxy phone. That was a pivotal point. It, like you said, it's never just one thing. It's always mm -hmm. accumulation of different things that happen that make, you know, uh, major events happen, you know, mm -hmm. that 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 uh, breaks the camel's back or whatever. But uh, yeah, well, the Galaxy phone was definitely a start where I remember. Uh, so those those joints were coming out. I was like, man, I, can't, I, just, I was so crazy. I want to get those so bad that I had kids, man. Uh, I think in Texas, I was one and it was probably in some other places. I was paying these kids to get in line for me to get them for me. And, um, and then, you know, and then, uh, they were getting released and it was all, and it was crazy, mm -hmm. right? There was helicopters. There was, uh, <laughs> the, the riot, the level of riots was, uh, was, was, was pretty crazy. Uh, I don't think there's ever been that level across the country. You know, we had things in New York that mm -hmm. was, but this mm -hmm. was nationwide and I could be wrong, but, um, yeah. So, so yeah. So, so I remember paying these kids or not in paying. I was going to pay these kids to get these sneakers and they're like, okay, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm like texting with them and I'm like pushing and I know shit's going down. People are getting hurt and I'm like pushing them. I'm, I'm pressing, you know, I'm putting pressure on them. Yo, I want those. I want those. <laughs> I, I, and I didn't say this, but in my mind, I'm like through all means, any means necessary, mm -hmm. I need you to get these. And, um, and then I, and then I didn't get them. They, they, they weren't able to get, or they did get them. And they said, they said, fuck you, you know, yeah, I'm keeping yeah, these, yeah, okay. you know? So, um, so, and so that was the, I was like, you know what, this is crazy because there was a point, you know, a big part of me, like continuing to do the, the sneaker rev uh, reviews was sometimes on occasion, I would get like comments where kids would be like, yo, I used to be on the corner or I could be on the corner selling something else, but instead I'm doing a camp out so nice. I could do this instead of doing that. And I was, wow, you know, that shit like, oh, uh, you know, <clears throat> I was like, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. I'm really doing something for society and the community and my, you know, in my community. And, um, so, you know, I was like, oh, you know, I'm, what I'm doing is good. But then on the other hand, I would go to these campouts <clears throat> and Nike or Jordan brand would know that this was going to happen. They, 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 they want this to happen. They want uh, because the amount of free publicity, among other things, I mean, I won't say there's a conspiracy or anything like that. There's right. no, there's no conspiracy, but you know, they they could do a better job of limiting any type of violence, mm -hmm. any type of uh, negative, uh, 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 you know, negative things that happens to young kids. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, when you're a grown man, you're a grown man. What happens to you out there? That's on you. I don't think Nike needs to take care of you. You can take care of yourself, but for the kids. You know, it 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 was uh I, I you know because I have been 
to camp outs and lineups. And I've seen kids coming from wherever, you know, and they get in this line and they've been on that line all night or, or two nights or three nights. And then some guys just come from the hood, you know, from that locality and they just get in front, in front of them. And, and, you know, there's police there and everything and, you know, and, 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 uh, and nothing happens. Those guys, just, they don't get their shit. Or if they get their shit, they get it stolen from them mm. as soon as they get it. Anyway, point is that I felt like I was <clears throat> encouraging, you know, you got these kids saying, yeah, I could have been doing this, but I'm doing that. And I felt like I was encouraging, you know, people, kids to get into this uh, uh, potentially, you know, dangerous situation. Mm-hmm. And, and, and who was ben- the only person benefiting from it was Nike and Jordan Brand. On the, at the end, at the end of all this, you know, after all is said and done, who, the mo- person that's benefiting the most again is the manufacturer of the sneaker, right, and the brand owners. Not not you and me, not the community, not the neighborhood, not you know. We're getting this, you know. Yeah, not the sneaker store because yeah, we're when getting, they don't got when they don't have anything, people stop going. Right when they don't have a hot release, it's it's is is over. So you know, so that was a whole interesting thing too. So anyway, so so with that, you know, I was like. Uh, um, yeah, uh, uh, you know, so that was part of it. I'm mm-hmm. like, you know, I'm just being, and, and that was always contrary. That's contrary to what my kind of my beliefs, my core beliefs, is, you know, is, is, you know, helping corporation, not that I'm anti-corporation, but I don't want to be helping corporations at the expense of the, of the, 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 you know, people that don't have certain resources right. and, and I don't want to be that person, right. you know, so was that. You know, it was uh, like I said, the, you know, like so the violence thing. And then uh, uh, and then it was just I was feeling like a fake. You know, I was feeling like there was a point and I knew this was happening and I, I was still pushing sneaker. I was still pushing. Go get these. Go get the latest. Go get the hottest. Go get the, you know, and and um, but inside, like really not believing it, you know, not believing right. that. All right, man. I hope that everybody enjoyed that interview with Sneak Geeks. Um, that was a pre-recorded interview and there will be a part two to that. So if you want any uh, questions to be answered, yes, uh, feel free to comment below. Let me know how you like this. Um, feel free to download my free app, Killer Kicks. It's available for iPhone and Android. I hope everybody had a safe Thanksgiving. Um, it was a crazy week. So uh, yeah, man, till next time, everybody, peace out.